On the 17th of November, Hong Kong drew nil-nil with China in their World Cup qualifier in what was an intense local derby. And even though the result didn't help either team's hopes of qualifying for Russia 2018, it was celebrated like a win by the hosts and as a sign that Hong Kong football is earning back its credibility and support. We managed to do what the manager asked of us. We played to win. We couldn't quite achieve that, but thanks to God, we got a good result with a draw. I think it was enough to make everyone in Hong Kong happy. It was great for Hong Kong, because people can see the standard of players that we have here. We've got good players that play well, and the result against China showed exactly that. Football once drew passionate fan support in Hong Kong, and attendances averaged between 15,000 and 20,000. But by the early 1990s, interest in the local game had dwindled. So in an effort to revitalize it, the Hong Kong government funded Project Phoenix in 2009. Project Phoenix recognised that the professional level of football in Hong Kong was, was relatively weak. Um, the, the standard of play on the pitch wasn't great, which meant that there weren't many people watching the game, which meant that there weren't many sponsors and, and money. We looked at the, diff the different options, you know, for, for the development of the senior game in Hong Kong. I mean, should we, should we edging into the, the China Super Leagues or should we be pushing on with a, a Premier League within Hong Kong? So a decision was taken to go with... A, a Premier League to make it more professional, make it more of an attractive career, but also our teams didn't get an opportunity to play in the AFC Champions League because our clubs didn't have a, an AFC club license. In the past, it's really the bosses that says, I want my club to do it this way. You know, uh, if I um, have no interest in youth development, I don't have a youth development program. Uh, now, with the club licensing regulation, you can't do that. You, you know, if you want to stay in the Premier League, there are certain criteria you must fulfill. So I think it is healthier in the long-term development of football here in Hong Kong. Now in its second season, the Hong Kong Premier League is making progress, but there's still much work needed to ensure its long-term sustainability. We want more teams to participate in this Premier League because now, you know, only nine teams have been now participating is not enough. But it needs to be more. Otherwise, when you play the games, it's only 16 games home away, then it's uh, not enough to make every team perform well. The attendances have gone up, which is good, and they're on an upward trend for this season as well. We're getting some better standard foreign players now, and uh, some of our teams are playing in the uh, AFC competitions. The last piece of the jigsaw puzzle is actually for the commercial people to see that there is a change, you know, with the implementation uh, of the government program, with the new strategy of the uh, Football Association, so that they become confident in putting sponsorship money uh, into the league. Another factor in rejuvenating Hong Kong football is the improvement of the representative teams. And with positive results in World Cup qualifiers, that seems to be working out. We want them to achieve better results on the pitch, so qualifying for the final of the Asian Cup would be nice. They're getting more people playing at the grassroots level, uh, having proper systems in place to make sure that those people with talent can, can find their way to the top. So it's about kind of growing the game at the base and also heightening the, uh, the, the top, uh, top of the pyramid and getting better results. The success of the representative team is fantastic, you know, and getting the kids interested and wants to play. Um, but the rest of the, the hard work is, is behind that, you know, what we're doing sort of in football development and, and getting kids interested and providing them with the opportunities to play.